Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad everyone stopped by today. I hope you're in the mood for another Q&A video because that's what this video is. <laughs> I also have a little side project. I have a little dragon that I made up, but I haven't shaved him yet. And I haven't shown how to shave anything on camera, so I figured I'd do that. Kind of show you what to use, what not to use and all the good stuff. So, we're gonna work on that first. I will come back afterwards, show off the dragon, of course, and we will do our questions and answers. <laughs> now, one more thing before I start. I wanted to let you guys know that I started a Twitter for my page. I have the links down below, so if you guys wanna follow me on Twitter, go right ahead and do that. Um, for my Twitter, it's mainly going to be showing off like sneak peeks of upcoming videos or different things that'll be in my Etsy shop. Uh, whatever I think will be kind of fun to do. Anyways, let's get started on the video. Okay, and for today's video, I actually spent the time and cleaned up my workspace. Yes, my kitchen has this nice little desk area, and usually everything is piled right here, but I cleaned it up and now it's in the pantry. <laughs> so, I can actually work over here, and I have everything laid out. This is the dragon we're going to shave down. I've got my shaver. And this is the shaver that I'm going to be using. It's only like 20 bucks at Walmart. I got it in the pet section. You can't really see it, but there's a dog right there. <laughs> and um, these are the different guards I like using. There's a 3mm, 6mm, and a 10mm. These are mainly what I use. I don't really use anything smaller or um, larger than these. But yeah, and then there's this. This is actually a pet comb that I purchased. Um, I'm going to use it to brush out our friend's fur over here. Um, that way it's a lot easier to shave and it doesn't get caught in the trimmer as much. So I'm going to set my camera up and we will work on getting this guy trimmed up. Okay, first things first. I'm going to use my larger guards and go over the whole body because the fur is just too fluffy everywhere. And I want to show off his spots a lot more. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, now to start on my legs. I'm going to get a pair of scissors and I'm going to trim off the extra fur, leaving about half an inch to work with. If you don't cut off the extra fur, you have a chance of clogging your trimmer quite a lot. So I'm going to do this and then we will start shaving it.
Okay, but you can now see a major difference with shaving the front of the leg and just using the scissors to trim it up. Um, but yeah, this is basically how I do most of my legs. I leave the back alone and then I just kind of go around the edges, kind of like fluffily, <laughs> I guess, and um, make sure to blend it in nicely so that it, it doesn't look like it just starts getting really long all of a sudden. Okay, so we're going to start shaving the rest of these things, and then I will get back to you. such a short fabric for the neck fur, I'm going to um, kind of shorten right here and blend it inwards. That way um, it doesn't just go poof around the neck. You, you actually have to knock them around quite a bit to get all the loose fur off of him. Of course, you got to be really careful since you have clay pieces on him now. Okay. Now the fun part. The cleaning. Because <laughs> I've got this all over my kitchen now. And now my dragon is finally finished. He's got a nice new haircut, and he's just ready to go up in my shop now. And that's how you shave your pet dragon. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you like him. He was a lot of fun to make. Um, he'll be on Etsy if anyone wants to buy him. I'll leave links down below. And yeah. We should probably start on our questions now, and answers, too. <laughs> okay, first question. You wanted to um, know where I got my fabric from. Well, I order my fabric on eBay most of the times. Um, they seem to have the best pricing. Um, you can, if you don't want a full yard of fabric, you can go on Etsy and you can find them. But it's always cheaper, like in the long run, if you actually get a yard of fabric. You'll spend more, but you'll get more for your money kind of thing. And eBay right now seems to be the best price for that. What type of clay do I use? Well, I use original Sculpey. Sculpey comes in a bunch of different types, but I haven't messed with them. Um, Sculpey is a pretty good clay to use at home because you can bake it in a kitchen oven. It's pretty easy to handle. It doesn't dry out almost ever. I mean, it probably would if you don't wrap it up for like a long period of time, but it stays pretty malleable for a while. Um, the best place you guys can get Sculpey is um, probably your local art store like a Michael's or a Hobby Lobby. Um, they come in like... You can either get like really small boxes of them or you can get the really big kind. Um, those are the best price wise. Um, but always use the coupons that the stores offer because they usually, um, Michaels and Hobby Lobby both do like 40% off coupons weekly. And if the clay's not on sale, definitely use your coupon because um, the big boxes can run like I think almost $30 after taxes so you'll cut that almost in half and it's definitely worth it. And what type of paint do I use? I use acrylic paints. Um, the brand I like using right now is called Basic. <laughs> Pretty easy to remember. <laughs> it's really cheap. 
You don't have to go expensive with acrylic paints. They're all kind of the same. You may find a preference, um, but I really haven't. I like using really whatever I can afford at the time. <laughs> and again, you can get this at art stores, or you can buy it online. It really doesn't matter. The prices kind of stay the same with that. Okay, and then lastly, you guys wanted to know how to cut fur fabric out, like your patterns and stuff, without cutting the fur off. Um, a lot of people in the comments were saying to use X-Acto knives. Um, if you are, say, too young to use it, or you don't feel comfortable with a really sharp X-Acto knife, you can still use scissors. It's slower, of course, um, but it's a lot safer. And basically how I do it, because I do use scissors, is I slide the blade of the... Here. I slide the blade of the scissors under the fur and try to just cut the backing of the fabric. You don't cut like straight through. You'll just kind of like dig it in there and then kind of do it from the back part. And it pretty it works pretty good. You don't really cut anything off. It comes off, of course, but nothing that you're going to like notice after you sew it. Okay guys, and that's basically the main questions you guys had for me. If you guys have any other questions, let me know and I'll be happy to answer them again in another video. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, make sure you leave me a like, subscribe if you haven't done that already, and don't forget about my Twitter. <laughs> I already have a few sneak peeks of projects already up there. Um, this guy's up there. Um, I've got another one that's um, kind of a video game themed project. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys have any other ideas for projects, also leave that down below or message me or whatnot and I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> I feel like an evil villain with him in my lap. <laughs> it's like, yes, the world is mine. <laughs> I request one billion dollars or the world shall be destroyed. You come to me on the night of my daughter's wedding. <laughs>